Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to build here one modern registration from using Python. So in order to build the modern GUI you need to use here one library that's called custom tkinter and also you need to install this library on your system. Just open your command prompt or terminal you need to type here pip install and the library name is called the custom tkinter and it just hit enter and it will automatically install this library on your system. So well so now let's import the tkinter library and also the custom tkinter right so let's say import the tkinter and also the custom tkinter right so let's say import custom tkinter now the question is why should I actually import the tkinter right because i am first going to create here one simple simple gui using the tkinter and after that i'm going to convert it into the custom tkinter right let's see how can i do that so let's say tkinter so when you create here one root we actually use here the tkinter.tk right and after that, what I'm going to do here, we're going to set it inside the root, right? So let's say root. Then after that, what I actually do here, we are going to give here one geometry of that. So for that, you can use here the root dot geometry. And inside that, you are going to give you the size of the geometry in a string format, right? So let's say I'm going to give you the 550 cross 750, right? Then I'm going to use here the root dot main loop, right? So this is the actual building block of the tkinter, right? Now let's see, let's see how I run the code. You can see one geometrical shape or you can say GUI with having the 550 cross 750 within the height, right? Now I am going to convert this tkinter into the custom tkinter. How can I do that? Let's see. I am just going to replace this tkinter with the custom tkinter, right? And see, I am going to also uh, convert this tk into the ctk. Now, if I run the code here, just have a look. You can see here the UI of the tkinter and the custom tkinter is little bit different. You can also set the mood of that. So let's see, I'm going to set here the mood. So for that, I'm going to use here the custom tkinter dot set. You can give here the appearance mode. So let's say we have two modes are available. One is the light mode and another one is the dark mode. So by default is right mode or you can say light mode and that's called dark mode. I'm just going to save it and I'm going to run the code. Then you can see just a thing, our frame, I mean our model frame is converted into dark side, right? And we can also give here your default color mode. Let's say I'm going to use the custom tkinter dot set default color mode, or you can see the color theme. Let's say we have uh, the dark theme, right? Or we have the green theme, or we have the blue theme, right? So you can also use that. So if it's a default color theme, let's say you are building on button and by default it will give here this color, right? So I'm going to give here the, let's say red, or you can say, let's say I'm going to give you the green. So this is nothing but our set default color theme, right? So it will automatically convert this theme into the green color. So if I run the code here, you cannot see anything. How I actually create here the widget, right? Widget, or you can say the entry or the label then you can actually see that how it will look like i mean how it will affect in our applications right so now i'm going to add here one simple image and after that i'm going to add here four entry and one single button and also one select box right so for that what i'm going to do here first i am going to wrap this root or you can say the custom tkinter root into one frame so for that i'm going to use here this custom tkinter dot ctk frame Again, CTK frame. And for that, I'm going to pass my master should be the root. I'm just going to create your one frame uh, in our root directory. I mean, uh, in our root, uh, you can say the root variable, right? So now I'm going to assign it inside the frame. And again, I'm going to pack it. So let's say frame dot pack. See one thing, I'm going to fill. I'm going to fill in the both sides. So let's say fill equal to, I'm going to give here the both and also the expand so let's say i'm going to expand should be true see one thing so if i run the code just have a look you can see you, you can't see anything right so we just create here one root we just create here on root and after that we're going to just set here on frame now inside this frame we are going to give our building block i mean our image our entry our label our button like that so now I'm going to add here one image, right? So this image is available inside my asset directory. So you can see here, this is my image. So I'm just going to add it, right? So for that, I need to import here another library, it's called Tilu. 
So for that, I'm going to import from Hello. I'm going to import the image, right? This image. Then I'm going to add it in my applications. So how can I actually add this? I'm going to just add it inside our frame. We are not adding any more in the root, right? Because we already created one frame of the root, right? So for that, I'm going to use here the custom TK image. So let's say custom TK enter dot uh, CTK image. So this our image, so image, and it will take, uh, if I see here, it will take three parameters as argument. Number one is called the light image. You can give the light image or you can give the dark image. You can also give the size, right? So this is the image of sizing five cross, five one two cross five one two. So I'm just going to divide by two and after that I'm going to just pass it inside of our frame. So for that, I need to give here also my master. So this, my master is right now frame because I just convert this root into the frame. That's why. And now I need to give here my, uh, okay, I don't give here the master because it will not take the master, right? So just I need to give you the image, right? So for that, I'm going to use here the image.open. So let's say image.open. And after that, I'm going to give it the path. So this image is available inside my asset folder. And image name is nothing but called bg, not ng, bg.png. And after that, I'm going to give it the size. So let's say use here the size. And let's, I'm going to give here 256 into 256, like that. Now I'm going to set this image. So if I run the code, just have a look. So you can see that no image is appeared on here. So how can I actually show this image inside our custom decanter? So for that, we need to use here one level and inside this level, I'm just going to pass here the image, right? So for that, I am also going to store it inside one image. And after that, I'm going to create here one level, right? So let's say image level. So again, custom decanter dot ctk level. And inside that, I'm going to give here a master because I need to give it the master here. And my master is nothing but a frame and our image. So that's our image. So image and image is nothing but image. And I'm going to also give the text. Okay. Uh, let's say give it one empty text. Then I'm going to pack it. So let's say image level. So let's say image level and I'm going to pack it, right? Normally I'm going to pack it. And you can also give you the padding of the images. So I'm just going to run the code. Then you can see one image is appear. Cool, right? So you can also give here one padding in the X axis and the Y axis. So for that, what I can do here, you can use here the paddy Y. So let's say paddy Y, let's give it 12 up and the paddy X. You can just give the padding on the X axis and Y axis. Simple, if I save it and you can see, have a look, you can see some padding, right? Now, what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to add here one uh, simple text. So for that, I'm going to use here the custom ticket dot label, the same one. So this is my label of the sign up from, or you can see the registration from. So let's say label, let's say label sign equal to custom ticket, simple custom ticket dot simple CTK label. And I'm going to pass it the master should be frame and also give it the tags. So let's say I give it one tags. So let's say registration from like that. And then I'm going to give you the font. So I'm going to give you the font. So I already installed the font that's called marble font. So I'm just going to add to the marble and then we need to give here the size. So let's give it 70, right? And now I'm going to just save it. And after that, I'm going to run the code, right? Then you can see, okay, it's not, it's not appear because we don't pack it, right? So why and you actually create here one widget or you can say the label, you know, to also pack it on your frame, right? So for that, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to simply pack it and I'm just going to replace this label sign in the image label. Again, run the code. And you can see here, our registration from tag is appear, right? Now we're going to add here the entry from. We have four entry form and one select box and also having one button. So see, this is really simple, right? So I'm just going to copy this. Let's type it right now. So we have our full name. So let's say full name or we can add here the first name and the last name like that. So let's say first name. So let's say first name equal to custom tk enter. That's a custom tk enter dot ctk entry. So this is the entry. And inside that I need to give you the master. So our master is nothing but our frame. And after that, we need to give you the text. So this is not actually text here. It is nothing but called the hint text. So if I go here, you can see the width, we have the height, we have the border width, we have also the place for the text, right? 
So you can use the placeholder text and also you can give it the placeholder text color. So I'm going to use the placeholder text and I'm going to give here one text. Let's say here the first name like that, right? And then I'm going to pack it. I'm going to pack it, just going to pack it and I am going to pass this first name inside here and I'm just going to run the code. And you can see here first name is appeared on here, but the width and the height of the entry box is so little. I mean, we need to also increase it, right? So I'm going to give here the width and the height of that. So let's say give here the width. So I'm going to give here the width of that. Let's say give here the 400 and I'm also give you the height. So let's give you the height should be, it's not help. So height should be the 14. And now if I am going to save it and on the code, and it will see appear on here. You can see the first name, right? So now let's also add here the four entry box. This one, this one, and this one. So this should be the first name and this should be the last name. And I'm going, just going to copy that. And this should be the, our email, right? I'm just going to make it email. And this should be the password, right? This should be the password and also this should be a password okay there here you go so it's a password and you need to also um you need to also make should be the last name and also this is should be the email address so this should be the email address so address and this should be the password right now i'm going to add here one button so for that what i'm going to do here uh, I am just going to use it as custom tick enter custom tick enter dot ctk button. So this is the ctk button, and inside that I just going to keep my master should be the frame, and also I need to give here one text. So if I see it, so we need to give here one the text color also have the text property. So let's give here one text. So text should be let's say submit like that let's say submit you can also give here the font so let's give here the font i'm just going to uh, give here again the marvel font so let's say marvel and also give here the size let's give here the 30 and then i'm going to pack it so again i'm just going to copy that so this is, should be the button so let's say btn and i am also going to okay let's not like that i'm just going to assign it into the variable that's called btn button and i'm just going to pass it here well so we add also a button here just i'm going to run the code here and you can see the submit button the email address first name last name email address and the password and we need to also uh, make the width and the height of the button should be like that so i'm just going to copy that and i will pass it here so if I run the code here and you can see submit button also, so you can also add here one checkbox that's called remember me. So why, how can I do that? Let's check equal to custom tick enter. So it's custom tick enter dot CTK again, select checkbox. So this is the checkbox, right? CTK checkbox. And again, inside that I'm going to pass it the master should be the frame. And also it has a tax property, right? So tax property. So let's give here a text property to the remember, remember me, right? And also I'm going to give it the width and the height of that. And again, I'm just going to pack it. Simple, super simple, right? I'm just going to pass it here. Well, save it now. And now I'm going to run the code, right? So see, in a few seconds, we just using this tick enter, I mean custom tick enter, we actually built here this modern UI, right? See? How it looks like, cool, right? You can also use submit button, right? So let's give you the name, let's say Mishu Ghar. And I'm gonna give here my last name, let's say Chando. And let's give here the email address, so let's say Chando123 at the rate of gmail.com. Let's say the password, I just go to the password like that and click on the submit. See, you can also make this button to the functionals and later on you actually add here the DBMS, I mean MySQL database. 
and also trying to add on the Firebase or the MongoDB like that. So you can also create your own function for that. So you can also check that if the button is actually working here. So let's say I'm going to create here one function that's called the def. Uh, let's say login or oh, let's say sign up, sign up. So I'm just going to pin here something. Let's say print button click like that. So let's say button click so that you can see it on the terminal. Let's say click. Well, so I need to pass it inside my command. So let's say I'm going to add here my command. So this is our command and I'm going to pass here this sign up. So this is our sign up. So now if I save it and if I run the code here and on the terminal, you can see one thing that is uh, button click is already called. I think, yes, it's already called. Okay, I think I need to make this function call not with the parenthesis. So that's why it's called automatically. So for that, I just need to remove this sign up, right? And I can run the code. And now you can see here, button click is not appear. If I click this button, submit button, you can see button click, right? So it's working fine. So in the later on, you're going to add here the DBMS, I mean, MySQL database or the Firebase or the MongoDB like that. And you're going to also fill it out, right? So that's it for today now. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'll be back with the tutorials. Take care and bye-bye.